Let's talk to y'all about compartmentalized love. What exactly does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that life is a menu. Whoever and whatever you order for your life is what's going to be delivered to the table. I'll say it again. Life is a menu. You open up the book, you're like, ah, who do I want and what do I want for my day? This has given me so much power. Most of us could find ourselves doing things because we have a guilty conscience. And that guilty conscience is, I really don't want to go over her house. I know she spreads all my business. I know she don't like me. I know she says the worst things about me and attacks my character. But she's doing the party. I've been to parties before. I know how she or her friends are going to make me feel when I get there. But you know what? I'm going to go anyway. And that exact feeling that you don't like, that you already knew you were going to feel before you went there, you ended up going anyway. And you're not surprised or shocked that everything that you thought would end up happening ended up happening. It's almost like it's not that we are psychics. Um, but in, in, in a lot of capacities, we can predict the future. It's like if you got a drunk uncle and he's always drunk, there's a likelihood that if he invites you over, that he's going to be drunk again. So you're like, man, if I go over there, I know he's going to be drunk as hell. He's going to bring up these issues and all these problems and start talking shit. I know. It's almost like you're predicting the future. So there's, once you go over there, it actually ends up happening. What's the point in all of this? I want you to do what I've been doing. And no one taught me this. No one sat me down and kind of put me up on this. I've, I've learned to do this on my own, and it's given me so much power over my life. It's given me so much freedom over my life. It's called compartmentalizing. You should Google that word if you don't know what it means. But I've learned to compartmentalize. I've learned to take control of my minute, my hour, my day, my week, my month, and my year. What does that mean? It's like, how can you have control? You have control. If you already know what he's going to do to your day from that text message or that phone call, why don't you block him? Why are you giving this person emotional access to you? Why are you continuing to call him or her back? Why do you continue to show up to everything that they invite you to? Do you have validation issues where you need the validation of all of these people around you? You got to be busy. You got to be in the mix. It makes you feel accepted that everybody keeps inviting you to all of these things. So you have a guilty conscience and you end up showing up. Because you're the loudest person in the club doesn't mean that you're really having fun. Because you're pulling up in the nicest car doesn't mean you actually have gas money. Because you got diamonds on and you appear to be living the life of luxury doesn't mean that it's actually something that you're living. So it's perception versus reality. <laughs> Let's go back to the compartmentalized. Life is a menu. Whoever and whatever you order for your life, it's what's going to be delivered to the table. And if you don't like what you order for your life, you send it back to the kitchen. If you're able to say, I don't like you, why are you still friends with them? I don't like you. So you've decided from st continuing to hang out with this person, you've decided to be on the receiving end of whatever bullshit 
they can conjure up. What do you feel like putting me through today? I don't mind because I keep showing up. What do you feel like putting me through today? I don't mind because I keep calling you back. So I'm giving you emotional access. I'm giving you access to my emotions and I'm allowing you to do whatever you feel like doing to me emotionally. Take more control of the outcome of your minute, your hour, your day, your week, and your year. For those things that you have no control of, that's just life. But for all the things that you can have control of, I can guarantee you that at the end of your day, at the end of each week, you're going to notice your spirit and your energy just starts going up. And you're going to feel so much better about your life because you're no longer on the receiving end of people's bullshit. Validation, validation. I need, I need, I need, I need all these people around me. People give me compliments. I need my ego to be fed. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need all of this stuff. Validation. So that's my New Year's resolution for you. It's changed my life. I've been on this path now for about three years. And the thing is, not every person that you don't return their phone call or respond to that text message, you have to be at odds with. You don't have to be, you know, at war with everybody. I hate everybody, so I'm not going to hit everybody back. We're talking about people that are actually cool as well, compartmentalized. You're cool. I like you. We don't have an issue. We don't have beef. But I don't feel like rocking with you today. And they shouldn't take it personal. I just didn't feel like it. And I need you to understand that if I didn't feel like hanging out with you today, I just didn't feel like it. It's not personal. It's just me. I love y'all. I hope that at least one person out there received this message. Um, it's really changed my life. Compartmentalized. Compartmentalized. Put everything and everybody in the particular order that you want them to be in. Hang out with people, interact with people, and do things according to you being in more control of what you're going to experience emotionally. That's what I want for you. It's changed my life forever. All right. It's your man Tyrese. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love y'all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. That's my gift to you. I wish I could <laughs> send everybody that's looking at this video gifts, but I believe in the gift of wisdom and knowledge and insight because when you have wisdom, gifts, when you have wisdom, information, and insight and clarity about things, it can actually be more impactful than somebody showing up with a gift to physically put it under your tree. Because you unwrap it, you have fun with it, then you tuck it away. When you got wisdom, knowledge, and insight, and knowledge with views and perspectives that are life-changing, you incorporate that in your life, and you hold on to that for the rest of your life. Oh, thank you, beautiful. I love you. All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to let y'all go. Appreciate all the love and energy. Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank y'all for the prayers and all of the energy. I love y'all. And I hope that you surround yourself. Even if you got to cut off family, friends, childhood friends. Loyalty has an expiration date. If people are not doing wrong by you or saying right by you, or have the right energy for you or about you and your life and what you're doing, they don't need to be around. And I'm not preaching separatism. I'm not trying to get everybody to divide and separate. I'm all about people coming together. But when it comes to your emotions, I'm about the right people coming together. 
Jesus has a job to do. He's here to save everybody and try and help everybody get on their path. And we're supposed to walk and think like God, but at the end of the day, this is a form of reality. And in this reality, I don't like hanging out with pain. I love y'all. I'm not stressed. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just having a heart-to-heart -heart moment. And uh, I just wanted to share it with y'all. Going into your 2014, compartmentalize. If you make it to the end of this, this uh, voiceover slash camera diary, I want you to write on my timeline, loyalty has an expiration date. <laughs> when bullshit people reveal themselves, all of a sudden loyalty has an expiration date. So just write on my timeline, loyalty, expiration date. And I'll know you made it to the end of this video. I love y'all. God bless you. I love you so much for everything. Thank you.